velocity time graph. Constant velocity graph. How it will look like? Please draw it. Constant velocity. Velocity is constant. Let's say 5 meter per second. How it will look like? Horizontal line? Like this. Now, if I have to find the displacement, what it will be? Velocity into time, which is graphically what? Area. So, if velocity is constant, area under the graph is displacement. This is what we have seen here right now. Now, if velocity is not constant, then can I say area under the graph is the displacement? Can I say that? Yes. How? Can you prove it? Put the phone inside. Or you can get out. What, what the area will represent? If you say that it represents area, can you prove it? Huh? No integration is required, nothing. Can you prove that area under the VT graph doesn't matter if velocity is constant or not, will be the displacement of the Wait, is still this last class or not? Yeah, we distill this, so that is... Okay, if you take a small strip like this, Guys, if I take this time interval very small, let's say delta t is very small, can I assume that, can I assume that the velocity is not changing for that small time interval? Very, very small delta t it is. Suppose you say no, no, some change is there. Then, of course, from 5 meter per second, it would be 5.00001 meter per second. So, almost constant. Okay, if time interval is very small. So, displacement in this delta t is how much? Which is velocity at this moment into delta t. Right? Which is area of the strip only. Now, you can imagine there are multiple strips out here. And if I add up all the strips area, it will be total area which is total displacement. I am adding small small displacements. Okay. So it does not matter whether velocity is constant or not or how it is very, area under Vt graph is always displacement. Okay. Have we derived S equal to U2 plus half a d square graphically last class? We have left it here. Okay. Now, please derive all of you focus here. Suppose this is velocity and this is time. This is my initial velocity u and this point velocity is v. Okay. This point is v. Can you find out the total displacement in terms of u, v and this is t from here to here time is t. Find the area of this, first find out the area that is of displacement. How much is the area of the graph? Is it constant equation or not? Yes. Is it a constant equation? Et graph is a straight line. Constant equation. So I am trying to find the displacement for a constant equation. A area of the graph is what? You can divide this into one rectangle and one triangle. Yes or no? U into T, U T, divided by 
area is this. Now area represents displacement. This is equal to ut plus half v minus u into t. And I also know that v minus u divided by t is my average acceleration. And since acceleration is constant, you can take any two points, a will be a of t. It is constant. Okay. V minus u by t is a. So from here, v minus u is a t. You can substitute it here. You will get s equal to u t plus half a t square. So this is a graphical proof of s equal to u t plus half a t square for a constant acceleration. I think we have done this. We have done this. Last class, I have done this. All right. Now, please write down. Please write down. Area above the time axis is taken as positive. Area below the time axis is taken as negative. Okay, it makes sense because below the time axis, velocity becomes negative, so displacement will decrease now. Area above the time axis is taken as positive, and area below the time axis is taken as negative. Okay, so there could be graphs like this. So the total displacement, how you find out? Find out this area. Then find out that area. So total displacement is A1 minus A2. Okay? You can understand the graph like this, you know, velocity was positive and then it was negative. So that is why displacement here need to get subtracted from displacement there. Alright? Okay? Now it is uh, we are getting into last one hour of the class. So those who are preparing for K to J grants can stay back and others can be Do it quickly. Okay. Those who are not preparing for advance or K to need not. I mean if you want you can stay back. I will not say no to it. But then you can leave also. Okay. See, let's let's start this problem practice session. Here is the first question. I am just taking some advanced level questions. Okay? And I will give you sufficient time so that you can solve each one of them yourself. And I will give you hints also. So it will not be like I will tell you the questions and I will stand silent. Okay? Here is the first question. A car accelerates. The car accelerates from rest at a constant rate alpha. Car accelerates at constant rate alpha for some time, for some time after which it decelerates. After that, it decelerates with a constant rate of beta. To come to rest. It accelerates with alpha and then decelerates with beta and then it comes to rest. Okay? If the total time elapsed is t seconds, total time, total time is t, t seconds is the total time, you need to find out these two things. First one is Maximum velocity, how much? And total distance. Total distance traveled. In terms of alpha, beta and t. In terms of alpha, beta and t. The car accelerates from rest. So initial velocity is given. Initial velocity is given. So you should write it down. That as well. Try solving it. Maximum velocity and total distance covered. Should I give you a hint? Okay, I will give you first hint in a couple of minutes. 
in terms of alpha, beta and t. Alpha into no. T is a total time. T if t achha, the first hint is the moment it stops accelerating, its velocity will stop increasing. Yes or no? So maximum velocity will be at the point where from acceleration it has gone to deceleration. Yes or no? Alpha beta T by no. So the another hint is you need to split the motion into two. Yeah, yeah. The first hint is that maximum velocity will be the point where it has changed from expression to deceleration. Second hint is divide it into two parts. Entire motion. Constant expression part one, constant deceleration part two. Okay. So is the final velocity of alpha equal to the initial velocity of beta? Yes. Alpha beta t square divided by 2 alpha beta. Ah, correct. That is dis displacement, right? Alpha beta t by alpha beta. Yes. Okay, the third hint is Take T1 time for alpha and T2 for beta. So T1 plus T2 is T. Yeah. We got V in terms of T. So here, V in terms of T is fine. But what is V1 V1? V1 V1 are not given to you. Okay, should I do it now? So velocity at B is your maximum velocity, yes or no? Which is alpha T1. But the problem is I don't know what is T1. Okay? I don't know what is T1. So there is one more condition that is given to you. Velocity over here is zero. Yes or no? So I will be using V is equal to U plus AT for B to C. So V is 0, U is how much? Alpha T1 and A is minus beta and T is T2. So alpha T1 is equal to beta T2. Okay, and T1 plus T2 is equal to T. So using these two equations, you can get the value of T1 in terms of T. Yes or no? See, answer is this only. But the problem is T1 is not known. T is known. So you should write T1 in terms of T. I am writing V is equal to U plus AT between B and C. I know that at point C velocity is 0. So final velocity is 0. Initial velocity of B is final velocity of A to B. Which is alpha into T1. That is my basic question. Okay. So T2 is alpha by beta T1. So T1 plus alpha by beta T1 is T. So T1 is equal to beta divided by alpha plus beta T. So this is my T1. So when I substitute it over here, I will get velocity, maximum velocity. Understood? Can I repeat? What? After I have wrote the equation, there is nothing left. I have just solved it. Simultaneous equation. Do it yourself. Don't read from the board. 
Do it yourself. Now you can find the displacement also. Once you know T1 and T2, you can find the displacement. Yes or no? Find out the total displacement quickly. You, you can find total displacement by drawing a plot also, velocity time plot. This is V and T. V max, you have already calculated. Okay? And uh, the slope of this line you know, slope of that line you know, so the area of this is your displacement. Like that also you can do it. Okay. Alpha beta T by alpha plus beta. Velocity. Hmm, velocity only. 